Hi, and thanks for watching. In this video, I will show you how to transform and load data with Data Moving Tool. In a previous video, we extracted contacts from an Oracle database. Now, we're going to load these contacts into an SQL Server database. We're going to follow the same simple principles as we did for the extract. First, let's go to the Transform and Load tab and create a new load job. Right-click in the list and select New Standalone Job. And let's name the job Load Demo 1. The first thing we need to do is tell DMT where to load the data. We want to load it into an SQL Server database, so we simply select its name in the Database Connection field. All database connections are configured and stored in the Settings tab, so you don't have to retype the information every time. DMT uses ODBC connections, so you can load data into virtually any database. Now we want to load the file contacts.csv that we've extracted earlier. So we click on the arrow next to the data file field and select the file we want in the list. Now we need to tell DMT where and how we want to load the data. This is done in the load mapping area. First we select the destination schema and table names. Then we load the column definitions for the data file and destination tables. Just click on the column definitions link and in the form that opens, click one of the lookup buttons. Now DMT knows the columns present in the source data file and the destination table. So all we need to do next is indicate where to load each column from the data file. Let's create a new line in the load mapping grid. We want to populate the ID destination column with the contact ID column from the source data file. So we just select them in the grid. What we've done here is tell the MT to load the ID destination column with this value, meaning the contact ID column from the source data file. We can repeat the operation for all the destination columns. For instance, let's populate the country column with the country from the data file. Sometimes we might want more than just straightforward column to column mapping. We might want to transform the source data. Let's do it for the name column. We're going to use the expression editor to enter more complex values. Right click on the value column to open the expression editor. We're going to concatenate the first and last name from the data file into the name column of our destination table. Data file columns are shown here, so just double click on first name to make it appear in the expression. Then add a space and the last name. Of course, this is just a simple example and DMT can perform much more complex transformations. Let's populate one more column to indicate the origin of the records. We are now ready to run our load job. Let's right click on the job and select run job. The run progress form shows us that it all worked well and that we've loaded five rows successfully. Now let's have a quick look at the table we've just populated. We can see our five rows in the contacts two table with the first and last name concatenating into one column. This concludes our presentation. As we saw in this demo, loading data with Data Moving Tool is very simple and only takes a couple of minutes. Find out more about what you can do with DMT. Visit our website and watch more videos.